Stoners, we are back in the zone, and joining us today will be Trinise Parham, founder and CEO of Diverse Dynasty. So Trinise, tell us, what is Diverse Dynasty? It's not what is Diverse Dynasty, it's who is Diverse Dynasty. I am Diverse Dynasty, the face and the CEO of Diverse Dynasty. Okay, so how long have you been in business? Diverse Dynasty has been establishing a business effectively since 2005. Was that your original plan? Not originally, not when I first started out, no. So what was your original plan? My original plan for Diverse Dynasty, I was just doing here. Um, I didn't have the name Diverse Dynasty then. I was just up and coming, a stylist. And then now the brand of Diverse Dynasty is so much bigger. Okay. What or who influenced you to create Diverse Dynasty? It's not what or who influenced me. It's more my mindset um, was influenced to be a leader. And for my family, for my legacy, for my city, my community, um, Diverse Dynasty has done so much in the community and so much in, with family and with friends. It's more than just a hairstylist. It's, it's a brand. Okay. So with there being so many more hairstylists and hair companies out there, what makes you stand out from the rest? Diverse honesty is genuine. When you sit in my chair, you feel the genuine love. The energy from diverse honesty is real. Um, when a stylist is there and they want services done, I tell them what I advise is best for them. From my knowledge, there's many people that want to accomplish a style or a certain um, a certain look that their hair may not be healthy or it may not be a, uh, a smart move just for the condition of their hair. And I'm genuine. I give them that option. I totally give them that option. So I'm genuine. Do you feel like that is what has kept you relevant in the game this far? I feel that and my skill, my honesty, um, my time. Definitely time. People don't want to come in the salon and be waiting all day. And I'm time efficient. It's effective. You sit in my chair, I'm servicing you, I'm catering to you as the client. Not, oh, I'm pushing you off and I'm sitting in the lobby. I'm time efficient, um, the genuine love. I think that's what keeps me relevant. Sounds good. So now, let's talk about challenges. What challenges do you feel that you have had to overcome to maintain diverse status? Well, my new and up and coming challenges that I have overcome is being a mom. Um, being a single mom out here and an entrepreneur is, is my challenge. Um, being able to be that mom 100% and being in your business 100% is hard. That's my overall challenge. Are you getting emotional? <laughs> um, okay. I tend to. Okay. I tend to. Um, because it's a touchy, touchy category. It um, is. I just want to keep my business relevant and I want to still be relevant to my child. So. so what do you feel is next for you? What's next? There's so much more. Where do I start? Um, Tell us all. Tell us, I, I have all. a diverse dynasty, has an up and coming wig line. Um, I currently sell hair, which currently now um, I'm wearing a product of my line. Also, Ziggy's As wearing I. a product of our wig collection. Um, I have a bro cream. A lot of people are witnessing hair loss now. Okay. Um, they're witnessing thinning and fine hair due to glue, uh, bad experiences with other stylists. So I have a growth treatment. If you come see me, I have a regimen that will guarantee to make your hair grow. And, and that's some of the up and coming things that Diverse Dynasty has to offer. It's good that you offer a lot because when you limit yourself, you usually run into trouble. Yeah. So. Yeah, as a stylist, again, the opportunities that my brand brings. Um, I keep everything in, in everything in the loop. I'm a hairstylist. So what do we do? We do hair. So why not sell hair? Be a provider of hair. Um, like I said, we deal with the natural hair. I'm a natural hair care specialist. Um, I focus more on um, the natural hair. I'm a stylist that I'm not into the up and coming trends. I'm into the care of your hair. Because underneath your wigs and your sew-ins and your looks, you genuinely want to have healthy hair. Naturally, who doesn't? So then when they want to convert out of the artificial looks and the extensions, people want to go into their natural and feel good about their stuff. I like that. Okay, so as I ask everyone, what advice would you give 
to a up and coming entrepreneur that wants to start their own business based off what you went through? Based off what I went through um, to any up and coming entrepreneur, follow your goals. Set goals and follow them. Um, if we don't set goals, we don't know how, where we want to go, what route we want to take. The sky's the limit, like they say. Um, to any entrepreneur, not just in the hair game, um, any entrepreneur that's starting up, set your goals, put a time frame on it, for sure. If you don't, you get relaxed. And I did that at some point uh, before my son, but you just set those goals and you achieve them. Reach for them. Okay, so tell everybody where they can find you. As you see, um, I'm here at Rouse Hair Studio. I am the master stylist at Rouse Hair Studio. Um, look for me, Google me, find me on Instagram and Facebook, Diverse Dynasty, here in Lakeland, Florida, Cole County, um, 863. <laughs> I'm here at Rouse Hair Studio. Alrighty, well, that is our time, guys. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit up Janice for your hair care needs, and we will see you back in the zone. In the zone. She don't want